Image test pattern one. Oh yeah, so here's our here's our graphics. So fill the image buffer with the specified target test pattern. Huh. Let's also look at plot. Back from the hospital. Got a bunch of tests done. They don't know or have or can see anything wrong. Strange. I could have sworn I heard those blah something. I brought the TIS reference metal with me to look at uh, the image processing part again. It looks like compression. Maybe. Still can't believe it's something. This thing is way ahead of its time. Okay. All right, so, okay, fill the image buffer with a specified target test pattern. There are no ins, there is just outs. Now, your target is just blank. So should I just be doing like move zero down? No, okay, what, uh, what does it want? Do we have to look at the documentation? Oh, you enjoy how the cat is the image. Yeah, that is true. Let me move. I should probably move Zilby. Uh, hold on. Cat cam. Um, where should you go? Here, you can go over. We'll have to move. We'll have to move Zilby every time. Hey, that didn't, that's not what I wanted. Hold on, I want you to be that. There we go. Um, okay, so graphical stuff. We haven't looked at that at all. Is there anything in here about that? Okay, so we have architecture. I don't see anything about uh... the last page. Also, Mizard, hello. Let's go to the last page. Okay, so we have the stack memory node, which we used without having to look at the, the documentation whatsoever. Visualization module, there we go, okay. The TIS-100 contains a visualization module that allows programs to programmatically create and display images. The module contents can be modified by sending command sequences, which consists of the starting X coordinate, the starting Y coordinate, one or more color values, and a terminating negative value, often negative one. The coordinate system starts at zero, zero, which is located in the top left of the display area. The visualization module supports the following colors. Okay, black, dark gray, white. Okay, so I wanna send three Draw a single white pixel in the top left corner. Okay, so that would be 0, 0, 003. Oh, negative one is the end. Draw a horizontal line, red line in the top left corner of the module's display. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. So this is. Oh, so. Um, start start from zero zero. Do. X, Y, X, Y, no. Uh, 
I'm I'm confused by all these. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to play around with it. So uh, basically, let's start with this first one. So we'll do zero zero three negative one. Um, how do I send that down? That looks like. I don't think I can do something like move zero, zero, three, negative one. So I have to do, I have to move like zero down, move zero down, move um, three down. Move negative one down. So if I do that, Okay, so that puts a white pixel there. Okay. Now, if I put in after the three, if we do like a move two down, uh, that puts it to its left. Okay, so that's basically just start there and then moving on a horizontal line to the right. Now, um, if I don't, if I don't run, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's just continue to put uh, threes. Okay, so that goes to the end. So the next question is, if I just go all the way to the end, will I be able to, um, we'll just auto, auto loop around. Uh, so the best way to do this, we need to start with zero, zero. So um, we have a start, we're gonna move zero down, zero down. Um, and then we're going to just, uh, uh, our run, move three down, uh, jump to run. So let's just do that. We don't have the negative one yet, and we'll have to see how, we'll see what happens. Okay, so that only fills up the first line, so then I need to check to see, uh, how many lines are there in here? Does it... 36 characters wide and 22 characters tall. Okay, so if we start by, we move those two down to start there. Um, I also want to save the width, right? I could use a bunch of these other modules for storing what what these things are. So I want we want one module maybe telling me which one we start on and then we just continue to oh maybe like we have our start x and start y. And those are continuously increasing. So maybe I get x and y from here so x plus y which means that you would be like something like x you can be y um we have our count of how wide things are so when i we start a line okay so we have this when we start a line i want to get the new the new X and Y. So we're going to move up, down, move up, down. Then we move into the run loop. And for the run loop, we just want to move, in this case, we can hard code the color that we want, three down. And um, I want to run this until the width resets. So maybe before even this starts, 
we do um we have like an init and so we're gonna save it, it was 32 36 so move 36 to acc and save so then okay so we start move up down uh we run um we move three down uh we then have to subtract one so sub one and we're gonna jump back to run but only if it's greater than zero so jump greater than zero it's back to run otherwise we're gonna go jump to start uh okay so then you we have to calculate this now uh it's 22 characters tall for this so that's gonna be our x our, so our y is always gonna be zero right so we're just gonna move uh no our y is gonna be changing our x is gonna be always zero so move zero right i want to increase okay so we know we just want to increase y by whatever this is so if i just um we have our init we're going to move zero to acc we already started in zero right so we're good to go there um we're in that case i don't even need an init do i I just want to move ACC left, and then we add one, and that's it. And then we go here. And this is just moving zero right. And then I want to move left down, move right down. So that combines them together into our X and Y. And so now we have up, down, up, down. So X, Y. Um, okay, so we run this sub one uh run otherwise jump to start um if we've reached the end so after 27 of these i oh know after 22 of them after 22 of them i need to Oh, end of line, it's negative one, not not the end. Okay, okay, okay. So run that, jump to Z, run. Okay, so then we're going to... Okay, we're going to move negative one down and then jump back up to start and do this again. Uh, let's try it. Not exactly what I was going after. Um, okay, so we we got the move up and down. Okay, so we're greater than zero, so we're going to go back to run, but we're actually done now. Uh, is this wrong? Did I do that wrong? Oh. I was looking at, I was looking at the wrong numbers. It's 30 and 18. It's 30 and 18. Thirty um, and oh, I don't know if I need the other one, so let's try that. Okay, that didn't that didn't change anything. Okay, so you're greater than zero, so we run again. 
Um, oh no, you're not greater than zero. Okay, so we're done. So we move negative one down. We jump to start. We're gonna move up. So I want zero for the X. And then I want um, one for the Y. Okay. Move up, down. Oh, and then I need to, I need to re... Oh, I need to just go back to um, in it. That's all I care about. Oh, except, okay, we have this on save. So I can swap. Let's just, okay, I don't even need to save this. We're just gonna go back to in it. So I can just make this start like that. Let's try that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, good, good to know. All right, first of the image one's done. 